Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear students and dear subscribers everywhere you are <laughs> Now we come to our 10th video about English paragraph writing uh, with the title Descriptive Paragraph In this video, I'm not going to explain a longer explanation about descriptive paragraph but I'm going to share with you some important details that related to descriptive paragraph you may listen to my explanation oh before i forget if you listen to the voice of the um chicken in the background of this video <laughs> there is a chicken next to me so uh please enjoy the background and if you have any question you can write down the question in the comment section below for this time i'm not going to use bahasa indonesia i'm going to use all english so if you have any question you can write down your question in the comment section and i will try to answer your question right on time in my spare time okay now let us see first what is descriptive paragraph i took it from zemach page 25 and Bortman page 6 zemach 25 wrote that a descriptive paragraph explains how someone or something works or feels. Meanwhile, Boardman, page 6, stated that a descriptive paragraph is used to describe what something looks like. Hmm. Can you guess what do these two quotations mean to you? All right, the, the key point is that descriptive is related to explaining how something or someone feels or works now and the sutra paragraph is also related to how something uh, is uh, described through written version one common feature in the descriptive paragraph that we should know is related to descriptive paragraphs and special ordering Portman page 32 stated that descriptive paragraphs also need good coherence or good ordering of sentences. However, they do not use chronological ordering. They use special ordering. In other words, they have sentences that are ordered according to space. Usually, this means that items are described systematically through space. For example, this could be top to bottom, head to foot, left to right, or front to back. Now, suppose that you would like to explain about a car, for example. You can describe about it from top to bottom, head to foot of the car, left to the right side of the car, or the front side to the back side of the car. Now you remember that if you would like to write about descriptive paragraph, it means that you write only about one subject. The subject could be a person, or an animal, or an object such as your wallet, your cell phone, or maybe your bedroom. It depends on subject that you choose. If the subject that you choose is talking about how it is described, then you can use the special ordering. What about characteristics of descriptive writing? From Zimach page 25, it is stated that there are three characteristics of descriptive writing. The first one is that it uses adjectives. The second one is that descriptive writing uses prepositions to show the location and places of the nouns. And the third one is that it is used to describe people. Most of the time, descriptive writing is not only used to describe about people, it can also be used to describe an event or an object or something that you like or it, it could be anything related to describing an item a person or something with its specific spatial ordering 
The first characteristic of descriptive paragraph is that it is using adjectives. How many adjectives in English? There are four adjectives. The first one is related to shape or size. The second adjective is atmosphere. The third one is related to how you feel. And the fourth or the last one is related to appearance. Now, let me read you the example of sentences that has adjectives related to descriptive. Shape or size is that the example as you can see in the display. Liberty statue is a big statue in Manhattan, New York. What about adjectives that relate to atmosphere? The example is the wedding party in most places of Indonesia is usually crowded. The third example that is related to how you feel. Drinking a glass of coffee milk helps release good mood. And the last example that relates to appearance in the descriptive paragraph is The Help movie shows clear picture of how Smith made during the time of slavery in America. So, all these four uh, forms of adjectives are used in the descriptive paragraph. Now, try for you to write your own sentence by using words that, that are related to shape or size, atmosphere, how you feel, and appearance. What about the second characteristic of descriptive paragraph? The second characteristic is that the paragraph usually use prepositions. In the display, you see that there are eight samples of prepositions. What are they? The first one is in front of. The second one is on top of or on the bottom of. The third next to. Fourth above or below or underneath. Fifth to the right of or to the left of. 6 in the middle of, 7th around, and 8 is between. The third characteristic of descriptive paragraph is that it is mostly used to describe the people. What aspect of people that we can talk about in the descriptive paragraph? They are about the personality or the physical characteristics. When you write about personality of a person that you have met or that you know personally, then you can talk about the personality. Whether that person has a smiley face or that person is humoristic or that person has a sweet attitude when he or she is in the middle of a problem so you can talk about the personality different from personality physical characteristics have different forms when you talk about physical characteristics that means you talk about how he or she looks in terms of his face his body or her hair or her hijab, if she wears hijab, and many things that you can observe and see through physical characteristics. So, if you decided to choose to write about people, then you can only talk about two things. The first one is about the personality, and the second one is about the physical characteristics. Besides those words and prepositions um, and then types of descriptive that we can write now let me show you what are words that are often found in the descriptive paragraph now we have here large small and happy so this is your task to follow after me to pronounce these words 
so after i pronounce and read these words you may follow it by saying the pronunciation now let me start from the word large words that have similar meaning to large are big colossal enormous gigantic huge massive substantial significant tremendous meanwhile if we would like to mention about small we have several words that have similar meaning to small they are diminutive little miniature minute petit teeny tiny we slight the third word is happy so the following words have similar meaning to happy they are content satisfied blissful joyful delighted ecstatic thrilled glad pleased all these words are usually used in expressing descriptive item through paragraph or even an essay now repeat after me from the word large small and happy okay we practice the pronunciation of the words large big colossal enormous gigantic huge massive massive substantial substantial significant significant tremendous tremendous small small diminutive diminutive little little miniature miniature or some people say miniature miniature minute minute petite teeny tiny we slight happy content satisfied blissful joyful delighted delighted ecstatic ecstatic thrilled thrilled glad pleased pleased so all these words express the meaning of description moving on to the next example of descriptive words we have three adjectives that are connected to descriptive we have sad good and bad let me read you words that have similar meaning to the word sad we start from miserable gloomy dejected depressed disheartened blue unhappy wretched heartbroken let me repeat you from the beginning the words that have similar meaning to sad is miserable gloomy dejected depressed disheartened blue unhappy wretched heartbroken miserable gloomy dejected 
depressed, disheartened, blue, unhappy, wretched, heartbroken. What about words that have similar meaning to good? Okay, let me read you the words. Great, superior, fantastic, incredible, excellent, amazing, remarkable, wonderful, marvelous. Now we repeat. Great, superior, fantastic, incredible, excellent, amazing, remarkable, wonderful, marvelous. What about the word bad? We have the following words. Awful, awful, terrible, horrible, horrific. Dreadful, outrageous, shameful, despicable, disgraceful. Mm. So those words are example of words that have a meaning to sad, good, and bad. All these words are usually used when we write a descriptive paragraph. Other words that have similar meaning to sad, scary, and funny. Let me start first with words that have similar meaning to the word sad. What are they? Whispered, yelled, exclaimed, called, asked, replied, responded stated told several words that have a similar meaning to the word scary haunting terrifying creepy eerie sinister chilling unnerving ghostly horrifying the next words that have similar meaning to the word funny is comical, hilarious, entertaining, humorous, amusing, whimsical, witty, gleeful, laughable, laughable. Now, you may repeat after me. Whispered yelled, exclaimed, called, asked, replied, responded, stated, told, haunting, terrifying, creepy, eerie, sinister, chilling, unnerving, ghostly, horrifying, comical, hilarious, entertaining, humorous, amusing, whimsical, witty, gleeful, laughable. Let me read you an example of a descriptive paragraph. The title of the paragraph is The Beach in Hawaii. A beach in Hawaii is like a paradise. To start with, the beach smells fresh like a new ocean air freshener. The sand is so hot that when you walk on it after the sea, you feel like you walk on a burning grill. Not far from the shore, you can see the palm trees. They sway in the air from the strong wind. In a distance, there is a beautiful house by the water, so you can see the navy blue ocean every day. People are loving and playing on the burning sand, and others are relaxing on the beach sunbathing. 
From a far distance, the ocean is a deep navy blue. At night, you can only hear the waves of the ocean and the light wind which comes from the huge palm trees. To sum up, this beach is an amazing place for a perfect summer holiday. The point of my description and explanation in this video is about descriptive paragraph. You need to remember that when you describe an object, please make sure that you can describe it as if you show it to your readers through your writing. If you can see the picture in the display, is that the door of a snow kingdom? Do you remember the movie? Yes, the movie is the Frozen. Anna, <coughs> one of my favorite characters. <laughs> okay, now imagine you would like to describe the object or the door of the Snow Kingdom. What would you say to describe that? After you write your description, then that is descriptive. All right. Now, this is a good time for you to practice your writing. You can write about descriptive paragraph. You should pick an object that you know well and that is common for every one of us. And the object is identifiable. So, after you write the descriptive paragraph, you can show it to me. You can comment it in the comment video or you can send your assignment to me through email all right <clears throat> have a good time by now and i'll see you again in the next video if you enjoy this explanation don't forget to subscribe and you can inform your friend to support this channel okay have a good day